Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Liver and Light here coming to you straight from the sunny land of Portugal. The topic of today's video is Nightmare Fishing Tournament, a game currently available on Game Jolt and made by the absolutely lovely Suits and Nukes. Now, if you think this is a bit loud, I literally can't do anything to help you. This is as low as I can make it go. The menu music is really fucking loud. Now again, I don't know what this is, so let's just start again. Okay, so apparently I appear to be some sort of desiccated corpse and I'm going underwater. Okay, now just to clear, clarify something, it has recently come to my attention that both Markiplier... Oh! I have options here. Oh! Oh well, it has recently come to my attention that both Markiplier and Jacksepticeye were actually playing... Oh! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me just pause this for a moment. Pause, pause. It has recently come to my attention that both Markiplier and Jacksepticeye have actually been playing games by Mr. Suits and Nukes. Uh, you have Cannibal Cafe being played and the little penguin being played by Markiplier, Astro Creep played by Jacksepticeye, to the point where I got a lot of downwind views on Astro Creep after the Jacksepticeye video came up. Now, I'm not trying to say I deserve more credit, I'm just going to say if you happen to catch this video because of something else that they did regarding the same creator which is Suits and Nukes, please check the upload dates, I got to them before they did, this is not an attempt to cash in, this is not an attempt to copy or whatever, I quite literally got to them before they did. The only reason I actually started kept doing it because I initially did Cannibal Cafe, but the author Suits and Nukes, uh, whose actual name I keep forgetting despite being the fucking name on YouTube, I actually went to my Cannibal Cafe video and went, hey, by the way, I just made a new game, it's called Astro Creep, do you want to go look at it? So I did. And then I put up Astro Creep, and just yesterday, Suits and Nukes came up, gave me another comment saying, hey, I just made another game, it's called Nightmare Fishing Tournament, do you want to keep looking at it? So I kept looking at it. The dude seems nice, the dude seems like a nice guy, seems like a hell of a guy, so I keep doing his videos. Assuming, of course, that's a he. So if you want to go ahead and complain about, oh, you're just copying, no. Check the upload dates, I got to them before they did. Now, if you just don't like my commentary, that's fine. I don't like it either. I just do this because I find it fun. So fuck it, let's just keep going, let's actually do the fucking game. Alright, I'm loading now. Now, I don't know exactly what this game is about, only that it's a nightmare fishing tournament. Although you won't have much in the way of credits just yet, the annual nightmare fishing tournament is underway. Wow, okay, so this, ju this just went from really fucking loud... If you'd like to enter, you're going to need a few things. This just went from really fucking loud menu music to can't hear shit. Hold on. Let's put this on 10. Holy crap! Always stocked with the very best in weapons and items. That is, if the price is right. <laughs> okay, so I can upgrade my weapons, I can upgrade my items, and I can upgrade my perks. Okay, so I have three items. I have a diving bell. Oldie but a good. Oldie but a goodie. Drop the diving bell underwater, return to it, and replenish your oxygen meter. Note, oxygen inside bell runs out with your use. When oxygen is used, bell is destroyed. Okay, so it's basically diving bell. Chum. Attracts fish to the position where the chum is placed. Note, place chum near hook to catch fish faster. Lure cam. A camera that attacks, attaches to the lure and sends a live feed of activity in the immediate area. How the fuck does this... How the fuck does this attract fish? Ah, fuck it. I can't seem to click any of the other things, so I'm assuming I can't buy them. And I can't buy I can't buy any other weapon. So panic shank, stronger than the starter blade. The panic shank cuts deeper with each stab, causing greater damage. Note: can only stab fish while they're hooked on a line. A oh, I can purchase it. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't so it doesn't actually let me click items that I do not have money for. Huh. But the perks do not appear to have any money. Can I... Can I... 
Can I buy the perks? Take it like a man, no longer Oh, hey! Oh, I need to... Oh! So that's where the crap... Alright, so this is a bit more complex than the last two games. Okay, so I appear to have weapons and items that I can buy that grant me a lot of increased efficiency. And then the perks, I'm assuming, that I can get via the crafting system by using several of these recipes here in order to get uh, these perks, which is uh, get more money or boat motor upgrade. Huh. Interesting. All right. 20 credits adds 5 to all baits. All right, so I have more baits. Leave the shop. On the surface. Okay, round one, the albino shovel snout. You have unlimited... Oh, shit. Stand here to drive the boat. This is WSAD? WSAD. Press S key to stop driving the boat. Huh. This really is a nightmare fishing tournament. Is this, is this like the underworld? <laughs> Except it's like this really weird... Talk to Clyde. The shop reaper will sell anything, but he buys stuff too. I sold him a whole heap of fish scales I cut off this corpse the other day. Made a mint. This has got to be the nerdiest, most boring underworld I've ever seen, and I absolutely fucking love it. Alright, press S key to stop dropping the boat. Click the tackle box to open the bait menu. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Alright, so I appear to have worms. More worms. Let's get a skull. Click here to bait hook. Press S key to drop the line. Hold spacebar to reel in the line. Oh, so I can use, I can use W, S, A, A, and D to increase the depth. Depth. Press W. Wait, I actually have to jump in the water? Whoa. This is scary! I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Okay, what? Okay, select the panic shank. Click on the fish while riding it to attack. Press, press spacebar to release. Oh! Wait, the fish is the fish endurance is not going down. Oh, I have a grip menu, uh, a grip meter, huh? Oxygen low. Return to the surface before you drown. Oh, this is interesting. So, and my icon even changes. Look, this is a very fucking this is a very very big fish. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. The, can I like, can I like not... Ow, ow! Can I like not stop the grip manually? Damn it! Okay, okay, okay. I get how this works. I get how this works. I need to go down there. I need to ride the fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I need to ride the fish. I need to shank it. I need to shank the fuck out of it. And then after I shank the fuck out of it, I can collect the sweet, delicious meat. You knocked it out. Now quickly swim up and reel it in before it... Okay. Reel it in before it recovers. No! Oh, okay, so I'm reeling it in. Oh, I have a stun meter! Oh, this is very nice. I captured a fish! I have no idea what this fish is. Uh, oh, a pink devil. Again, because this game is uh, on the window here, uh, and it kind of get, gets a weird-ass font because I kind of stretch it out to fit the whole monitor. Alright, here to continue. You have unlimited time and limited strength to capture this fish. So what the fuck am I looking at? This is a deep bass or something. 
Okay, hold on. Let's use this. Click here to bait. Alright, so I can click the W key to actually to stop. Oh wait, no, I can I can only I can only put it down, not oh oh sorry, I can reel it up. I can use S to go put it down, and I can use S. I, oh wait, wait, hold on. I can use S to put it down and S again to okay in a space bar to stop it. Also, there appear to be more dead people arriving on the background, and I literally just noticed that. So apparently, that's what it is. I join the, I get to the underground, I die, and after I die, I begin being in the fishing tournament. Okay. And much like real fishing, it's actually kind of boring. The music on the background is just what you expect it to be. You know, it's like this, those slow guitar riffs. Wow, wow. That's it. That's that. That's all it is. That's what you expect when you're like in a bayou. <laughs> you have your adventurer. Is adventuring. He runs up to a fucking swamp, but there's just one guy, like Clyde, he's got those little like straw hat, like a boonie hat, sort of asleep on one of these little boats, just with a with a fishing hook line out. All right, depth thirty. That's my lucky number. The theme of this is so weird, and I like it. I I, I can see these what appear to be islands with blood coming down, and, like, and the theme is so stupid. This is a sea of blood. More and more people are dying and arriving on it every single fucking second. And then the Green, the green Reaper, the, or the Fish Reaper, just shows up and goes, By the way, here's a boat, here's a shop, here's a fucking fishing line, go and fish. And that's it. That's really it. Oh my god. Alright, let's put the depth out to 50. Oh, the urge to put out the bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. No, no, no. Ah, oh, you've returned. What will it be? It increases... Okay. Business with you. Four, five. There we go. Got a lot of good things on sales. Alright. So I don't actually need to... So I don't actually need to, like, go to the menu or something. I can't, in fact, quite literally, just... Uh, well... Wait for them to show up and do it. Alright. No, no. Right click mouse to place like an item. Oh. Can I place the jump? Ah, there we go. Let's put the depth down to 40. 40. There we go. I mean, there's not really much to do in this game except fish. And this is. How you fish. You go out into a lake, you put out your fishing hook and your fishing line, and you sorta of hope that they bite. And that's it, really. <laughs> this is so silly. This is so silly. I, I, I cannot fathom how silly this is. But I like it. Alright, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. Let's try this somewhere else. Okay, let's talk to Jasper. If I could reach those clams at the bottom, I might find a pearl. Reaper says if I collect three of them, I can craft them into a double cash bonus that makes all the fish I catch worth double. Now, how the hell does combining pearls together make that happen? Damn game logic! Self-referential meta humor, always my favorite. I'm not even kidding, I absolutely fucking adore self-referential meta humor. I really do. Hey, okay, hold on. Can I put the chum there? Oh wait, the chum is independent. Oh. The chum is independent from the thing. 
Okay, this is scary as shit, and I don't like it, and I'm moving. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god. One of my greatest fears in real life is... Um... Deep waters where I where the light doesn't sh does doesn't doesn't light up even like a, even like a more cloudy um I can explain this even a cloudy pool like a pool that has too much chlorine chlorine and is really really uh, cloudy even that freaks me the fuck out even that freaks me the fuck out even though I absolutely love swimming I love swimming in the ocean but I can never go too far out. Because the idea of putting my head underwater and looking down and just seeing this vast, empty void, Christ almighty, oh, that sent a shiver down my spine, oh, God, oh, I hate it, I hate that, I hate the idea of being in this vast, empty void underwater and not having anything, just looking in all directions and it just being this ridiculous nothingness. Oh dear fuck. I hate that. I hate that idea. It's like that that's that's something that's something that really fucking irks me. Yeah. Also, I'm having really really bad luck. I wonder if I have to go all the way back. Maybe I have. Maybe I actually have to go all the way back to where Clyde was. Alright, so let's, let, let, let's do a little partnership here. Let's put it at the depth 30. So yeah, like the concept of going underwater, or going, or going on the, into the water and looking down and seeing absolutely nothing but this really dark void where there is no fucking light just scares the shit out of me. And I absolutely fucking hate it. That's why, that's why I don't want to... Half of me doesn't want to play this game because that involves going down to here. And the music doesn't help either. Oh god. No, nope, 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 no. No thank you. Holy shit, did you see that? Alright. And the shitty thing is, I have to fucking kill that thing. Let's put it out to 45. I mean, there's not really much else I can do. All I have to do is just put out a line and hope to God that the fish show up. Just like in real fishing. <laughs> just like in real fishing. You put out a line and you hope that the fish bite. And that's it, really. That's all you can do. That's pretty much it. That's all you can do. The music is bitching, though. Okay, hold on. Can I reel it in? And then, like, exchange the bait. That'd be amazing. Maybe it's, maybe it's the bait. Alright, maybe it is the bait. Alright. Let's put that out to depth 30. Again, there's not much else I can do. All I have... To, I don't know if there's, like, spots that I can, uh, you know, go to to get more fish. I'm assuming there are, but I don't know. At the end of the day, I still just gotta put out a put out a line with some bait and hope to God that the fish actually bite. That's it. Or maybe I have to go beyond Clyde and Jasper. Maybe this is like the initial area, and I have to just keep going until I find something where there's no some place where there's no one there. I do like the art aspect of it and the whole style. The style itself is very similar to what we saw in Cannibal Cafe and Astro Creep. The actual art design. No, 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 no. The actual art design, the way that everything looks. But then, uh, the actual the, the art a the aspect, the way this, this particular game looks is... <laughs> it does look like some sort of really laid-back afterlife. Uh, underworld, you know? Sure, it may be this this the shivelled mummy guy with what appears to be a very cracked skull. There's dead people showing up every second, falling from the sky, and you're fishing in a lake of blood. But at the end of the day, you're still just sort of going out in a fucking motorboat and fishing fish. And that's all there is. 
and the Fish Reaper is actually running a sort of side business selling you fishing supplies. So you know what? If there is an underworld and if I'm destined to go to hell, this is the one I'd pick. Fishing for eternity. That'd be fucking bitchin'. Maybe this is my punishment. Maybe this is the punishment that I'm going for. Yeah, this is it. This is my punishment. I'm in hell, so my punishment is going and fishing. And I catch one fish really quickly, and that makes me think, Wow, there's a lot of fish around here. And then my punishment is that there's no fish anywhere, and I have to go underwater to look for them. And then another fish shows up, and you think, Okay, so there is fish. So you go back to the boat, and you keep trying to fish. But there is no fish. And that's... Oh, okay, okay. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. There is fish. That is not the fish I'm looking for, though. Can I, like... Oh my god, I can. I can do the double tap. I can do the double tap. I can do the double tap with a thing, with a, with a touchpad. I can do the double tap with a touchpad. Okay, okay. No, no, okay. Oxygen low. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, 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 okay. Go that. We'll go back down. Go back down. Where's the fish? I need to. No, I need to ride the fish. No. I need to ride the fish. Okay, the line strength is still nice. Now I just need to. Ride the fish. There we go. No, nope. shit, shit, shit. There we go. All right, the fish is stunned. I just need to go back to my fucking thing. Reel it in. Reel it in, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes. Go away, Jay Feather. No one cares a shit about you. I caught a blood bass. You know, the fucking music that plays when you manage to get a fish is so badass and is absolutely not really anything that you. <laughs> I want an al albino shovel snout. The, the music is not. Okay, I have unlimited time and limited trying to catch this fish to toy around. Okay, I can actually do this without a bait, but I'm assuming that's a very stupid idea. And I can change the bait, but only if I go above wa above the water. The music that gets is, is is so not what you would expect for fucking fish. Stumpy. Okay, so the net launcher actually... Oh, so I can't go any further. Oh! Alright. So I can't get any further than this. I can't get any further than this. So I just need to test my luck. So the net launcher, as that guy says, slows down the fish and allows me to catch them and ride them faster and easier. But apart from that, that's pretty much what this game is. I mean, I'm at 23 minutes, and I caught two fish, which is amazingly generous compared to real fishing. Have you ever fished for real? You can you, you can catch a fish in five minutes, or you can st stay there for five hours and get nothing. So getting two fish in about 20 minutes, that's a very nice thing. It's very generous. I mean, I'm, I don't want to keep doing this game, because that's really all there is to the game. It's an underworld fishing tournament. I mean... This is what, this might be, I know that I said this about the last game, Carnage, but this may be the ultimate time waster game. If you ever had time to kill and you wanted to play a nice little calm, entertaining game about fishing, go get this game! It's a nice little arcadey fishing simulator where you just go out, you get, you get different types of bait, you get different bonus items, you get different perks, you get different weapons to use against the fishes, the fish. And then you just fish. And with the added bonus of being themed around the underworld. You're some sort of des desiccated mummy that's just 
trying to fish and sell fish to the fish reaper for whatever goddamn reason. And you do this by putting out a, a line, jumping into a lake of blood, and stabbing the fish until the fish gives up and you can reel it in. I mean, that, that's a metal shit right there. You literally die and drop into a lake of blood. And the first thing that happens is the fish reaper shows up, gives you a boat, gives you a fishing line, and tells you, go fucking fish. And you fish by putting out a fucking line, and you stab the fish until it gives up, you reel it in, and you sell it to the fish reaper. Holy fuck! And that's really it to the game, really. I mean, I could sit here for 15 hours, and probably not get anywhere close to the end. I'm assuming there is no end. I'm assuming that even after the tutorial round, you just sort of keep going. I'm assuming, if, again, because there has to be some sort of RNG. I have to get the shovel, shovel snout, shovel nose snout, whatever thing. I caught two fish. Neither of those fish were the shovel snout. I'm assuming there is some sort of RNG there, depending on what, of course, the fish you catch is. Let me increase the depth. And, of course, depending on uh, what depth you put your hook, your bait in, and even, even, even uh, what your bait is. So there's a lot of combinations to try here. There's a lot of things to experiment with, and I'm not going to sit here for three hours and record them all. Because, like, I, I, I would just fucking sit here for an entire fucking afternoon, and frankly, I have better way. <laughs> I have more productive things to do today. Valued customer returns. Yes. What can I buy, actually? I can't even click the items. I can't even click the items that I can't buy. That's all bad. I should be able... It, that, that is bad. I should be able to click the items and see what they do. See me again when you've got some more money. I should be able to see the items and see what they do before buying them, before having the money to them, but no, whatever. And that's pretty much it. This is Underworld Fishing Simulator. I was expecting something a lot more gruesome, but this is just sort of metal in a calm, fishy way. You die, you go to a lake of blood, you uh, get given a fishing boat and a fishing hook and a fishing rod by the fish reaper, and the fish reaper tells you to go out and fish. And all you can do is you can get your boat, you can install yourself next to one of these little uh, blood islands that seem to have infinite blood, you know, you can just park underneath one of them, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do this right now. No, you can just park. You just park underneath one of them, you know. And then you can just put out a line. And after you put out a line, you just wait for the fish to, you know, bite. And after the fish bite, you drop into the lake of blood, and you stab the fuck out of the fish. Until the fish is stunned, you reel it in, you kill it, and you sell it to the Grim Reaper. I mean, Fish Reaper. That's pretty much it. I like this game. You know what I'm going to do? After... <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? This is going to be one of those very few games. I'm not even kidding. This is going to be one of those very few games that I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to put it to processing. And after I'm done uh, with the processing and this video is uploading, I'm going to go back to the game and just play it on my own for shits and giggles. Because it really is. It doesn't seem like it is. But it is fun. I like slow burner games. I like games where you can just sit down, relax, maybe have some music or some other thing on the background while you listen to it, you know, like radio or a TV show on YouTube or something. Or you can just listen to another, uh, or you can listen to another YouTuber. I don't give a shit. This is one of those games where you can just put on a low volume, uh, put something on the background, and then you just have a slow, calm game about fishing in the underworld. That's it. That's pretty much it I can say for the game. I like it. I like it very a lot. I caught two fish in half an hour, and that's pretty much it. But you know what? I like it. It's nice. The aesthetics, again, are not exactly the most detailed, but I like the aesthetics. They're thematically pleasant. The whole art direction and art style of the game is absolutely fucking hilarious, and the whole concept is hilarious, but it's executed quite nicely. It's a nice little arcade time waster, just like, just like Cannibal Cafe. You turn it on, you play for a couple of hours or for a few hours, turn it off, a few days later you come back, do the same thing. And you kind of have fun. You have fun. I like it. I like it a lot. So you know what? You should go and get it. Uh, Nightmare Fishing Tournament. Currently, currently available on Game Jolt. Uh, it is pay what you want, in fact. Uh, you can get it for free. But, but, 
I would honestly recommend you go ahead and, I don't know, give a dollar or two dollars or something to the developer. Because it, it's actually worth it. It's worth it. It really is. It's pay what you want. It's worth paying something. It's actually pretty damn fucking nice. So, yeah. I guess that's it for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, hope you guys and gals had a great time. As always, I'm open to suggestions in the comments section below. And until next we beat, this is Tully B. Burnlot signing off from the corpse-rainingly land of Portugal. Toodles! <laughs>